I am Aaron Bishop, and I am one of the coordinators of Rancho Cucamonga High School Remembers, an oral history program that involves veterans and students here on campus. First of all, I'm a history teacher, and my job is to bring history to the kids. So how else can we do that other than bringing actual living history to our students? I had six uncles in World War II, and they all survived, and they all came back. Unfortunately, they all passed away before I became a teacher, so I couldn't use them to come to my students. So my wife encouraged me, hey, you better go get some guys to come on out and speak. My wife's grandfather, he was going to come and talk to our class. Well, unfortunately, he passes away two weeks after we see him, and that's, that was the inspiration I needed to get guys coming in. We don't say enough thank yous to our vets. I know I have family members and aunts, uncles. Uh, I have friends. We have students that left here and they go and join the armed forces and nobody ever knows exactly what they did and the sacrifices they make for us. And I think a lot of people take for granted how we live. Uh, and it's just a way to continuously give back, even if it's just saying thank you by having the program for one day, by having our students write thank you letters to them. It's just our way of showing that we do appreciate what they do for us. Ultimately, as opposed to remembrance events like on a Veterans Day or, or uh, Memorial Day, this gives veterans a chance to tell their stories in a very non-threatening way. And for many veterans, that's a rather cathartic experience that they've never had the opportunity to have. Many veterans came home and went right to work or no one wanted to hear their story because they were a Vietnam veteran. And so this creates an opportunity for those stories to be told in a very non-threatening, non-judgmental environment. I knew we were going to lose them. I knew we were going to lose the greatest generation. So we needed to do the best we can to bring them in. So um, we just extended a hand. We started reaching out to different vets and going to different veteran posts and American legions and VFWs and we tried to recruit people to come in individually at first and talk to our classrooms until this idea grew into a bigger idea. And the first year was just Sanchez and I and we thought I hopefully people show up. They showed up, it was great, and then someone said, oh I think next year's gonna be double. And was, All right, we'll do it. So it doubled and then it tripled and so so now we're we're in this range that we kind of stay the same each year and there's no way I thought this was going to go on and be so successful. I've had such the privilege and honor of being a part of this event for four years. A lot of students don't get that and I couldn't feel more special and I appreciate the school more than anything for supporting an event like this. It's shown me the appreciation that I needed for um, veterans. I can't say that before this that I was really appreciative of it. I knew what veterans were, I knew what they did, but I can't say I had a huge, pre a huge appreciation for it. But with the event, it's taught me to say thank you when you see a veteran. It's taught me to understand the fact that they gave up so much that, so we could have our freedoms today. The event made a difference in my life just by letting me learn, hear stories from veterans, not just from like what you read in history books, but from the actual people who were involved in it. And I feel like that helps you learn more about anything, just the direct, being told directly from someone who was there and witnessed it. I was just amazed about how, how many veterans were here and how, how much history it was just in this building. And I just thought it was just amazing because you can ask them questions. It's like they're a living relic of the time where the wars were happening and you could just talk to them and learn what they saw and they would tell you what they saw and I thought it was just amazing. respect that Rancho shows the veterans uh, for the past 12 years is exceptional. Uh, it's been a great, great thing for me to come to all of them and I've had a lot of fun and uh, a lot of respect from the students. I think uh, that is lacking in, in a lot of the educational areas throughout the country at this point. I just hope they keep doing it year after year. I think it's great for the veterans, particularly the Vietnam guys, and it's great for the kids. It is unique and it's carried out uniquely. Uh, and this participation, this friendly participation by each of you and your outgoing uh, spirit is uh, remarkable. And uh, it took some teaching leadership to bring that 
to start. And now you're in gear, and I hope it can be continued. Oh, when I wear my hat, my, it says World War II. People will say thank you for serving. That means a lot. So when people, you know, to, to get the respect that we earned, it's nice to be acknowledged. That uh, there's so much, so many things that I could tell them that you don't get a chance to study. Uh, some of the things that I've been able to bring and let them put their hands on, that they'll, they'll never have a chance to do that anywhere else. And I think that that's just incredibly important and nothing makes me feel better than the looks on their faces, uh, the amazement uh, that there are parts of uh, history that they can actually touch like this and have it brought to them that they might never have another chance to do. This is very good what you're doing, thank you. Uh, what I've been sharing is that uh, what you students are doing is, is, uh, is healing PTSD. That one man that got up there dancing up in front, I've seen him many times at these places, but he's never done any, anything like that before. And that was a total release for him. It's a healing that you're doing. It's a service to you, but it's a real service to us what you're doing.